Good morning, Lake Central. I'm Amy Gerke. And I'm Bianca Martinez. Here with your Indian Insights for Thursday, March 7th, 2013. Herf Jones representatives will return March 12th during lunch periods and after school until 6 and March 13th during lunch periods only. Indiana University Northwest will be visiting LC on Wednesday, March 13th. If you are interested in learning more about this college, please report to the High School Guidance Office at 215. Purdue University Women in Engineering program is inviting high school juniors to a free day-long event, Juniors Exploring Engineering at Purdue on Monday, April 8th. Interested students must register to attend by March 29th at the link above. AP testing signups will take place with Mrs. Myers in the guidance office until spring break. Academic letter winner officers only will meet tomorrow after school in V104 to process student award orders. All unclaimed lost and found items will be donated March 15th. Lip sync signups are still being accepted. Drop off applications in A110. The students of A118 will be selling bracelets for $1, feather earrings for $2, scarves for $5, and a raffle for a Lake Central blanket, $1 tickets. Funds will go towards St. Baldrick's Children's Cancer Research. Items will be sold during all lunches from now until March 20th. Drawings will be held during lunch on Thursday, March 21st. Are you interested in art and want to show off your creative skills? Let's hear more information on how Elsie's Rune can help you do that. I submit a lot of poetry and short stories, and uh, we encourage um, artwork and also songs, lyrics to songs. A lot of kids do that. Um, if they can photograph it so that it would show up well when printed in the magazine, they can just submit that. If they don't have the equipment to do that, they can bring the pottery to V124 and Mrs. Yeager or myself will photograph it for them. Anybody, a lot of kids do art at home and um, poetry at home. It doesn't have to be done in Lake Central. It just obviously needs to be done in good taste. And when it comes to the drawing, uh, nothing on lined paper. It should be, uh, you know, completely blank white paper. It's been going on for like. I'm going to say over 40 years. Oh, wow. A long, long time. And it's changed over the years from small format to larger format, from black and white to color. Okay, they'd like to have everything turned in um, by March 22nd. That's Friday, right before we leave for vacation. That gives the, uh, the club, the, the kids that are in the room, uh, time to look at things and um, because there will be judging, not everything will get into the magazine. Quite a few goes into it, but it, it has to do with how well, especially artwork, how well it shows up. So make sure drawings are done in really good black and white so that it prints well. Oh, this is probably the only source for um, their creative side. They get to maybe publish something that would never be published otherwise. They get to see it in print. Um, they get to have other people enjoy their creativity and um, it's just it's a great way to showcase your, your uh, creative side. We hope to see your art in this year's edition. If you missed seeing Once on this island last week, you have three more chances to see it this week. Tonight, Friday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. in the auditorium.
Students and seniors pay $10, adults pay $12. Children 10 and under pay $7 to get in. If you bring your ID with you and a super fan pass, you can get in for free. Tonight is Senior Scholarship Night. All proceeds go to the scholarships for the senior class. Come out and support the theater company. Girls Tennis Call-Out Meeting today in C-104. If you are interested in getting information about tryouts for this season, please try to make it. This will be the last call-out before tryouts. Don't forget, Student Council is hosting their annual talent show, Elsie's Got Talent, on April 26th. Auditions are March 19th, 20th, and 21st. You must sign up in E-105 by March 15th. A portion of the proceeds go to Riley Children's Hospital. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Lokoma on E-105. Okay, that about wraps it up, Elsie. I'm Bianca Martinez. And I'm Amy Gerke. Have a great day.